I know you are not as stupid as me. You're not as naive as me. I'm actually in the lot right now, in the property right now. But where I am right now filming, this is not included, okay? <laughs> this is not included. Uh, if you see the hill, the, a small hill over there, that is also not included. <laughs> I mean, what's only included are all the parts that's, that goes down like that. <laughs> But as you can see, if uh, the, the view the view here in this hill, I don't know who owns this hill, but the view here is the most gorgeous. Um, in my lot, this is actually blocking the view here, but it's fine because I still can see the view over there. I'm going to give you a tour of my upgrade property. I'm going to take you on a little adventure because look around. This is how it looks like going to the property far away from neighbors. So we're starting off on this wild bushy trail. It's pretty exciting with the trail winding uphill and downhill. It's a bit of a workout, but I love how it instantly immerses you in nature. Just listen to the cracking sound of every step. The insects, the animals, it's so refreshing. Check this out as we reach the top of the hill. Look at the view. Isn't it stunning? This view makes every step of the hike worth it. Now we're heading into another bushy area. Do you see that big stone in the middle? That's the stone that represents the boundary of three different barangays. So yes, my property is sitting in three different barangays. Welcome to paradise. The terrain here is very steep. In the camera, it doesn't really look steep, but I can assure you that if you go there, if you walk there, you cannot walk. You will slide down, you will roll down. Just to give you an idea, watch this. See how quickly it disappears downhill? That shows just how steep it is. It's a bit scary, but also cool. So here, this is the view. The view from here is absolutely gorgeous. The panorama is breathtaking. The more I come here, the lesser I get scared. I even climb up this steep area once. And I didn't get nervous at all anymore. Not like the first time I saw it. I even felt nauseous. And the coolest thing about this property is that every corner or everywhere you go in the property, you have an amazing view. You can see the sky and the ocean in different shades of blue. The white clouds, green trees and brown bushes make it look like a painting. All the colors are complementing each other. Another thing is very peaceful and quiet here. That's why all my stress disappears when I come here. All you can hear are the birds and the breeze. A lot of insects chirping too. Yeah, please. Breathe. Oh. Yeah. The breeze is so nice. The breeze is really nice here. Sometimes it's stronger, a lot stronger than this. What's a good thing in this property, even if it's sloping like this, because the property is like behind the hill, around 1 p.m. it's not, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I think 2 p.m. it's not hot anymore. So the sun rises there on, from that direction and then goes like that. So it's not very hot here either. What I don't know is the typhoon season, how it is in the typhoon season because it's uh, it can be very very uh, windy in this area and also as you can see it's it's like the highest part highest point so there's already a trail here they said there are uh, racers motorbike racers here is uh, their truck is their truck and then going down like that they do extreme racing here extreme sport and I heard there were two um, accidents happened. They fell down. Of course, they were injured. To be honest, I don't really want to call this a scam. I know that they didn't do it on purpose. I know that they, it's not their intention to scam me really. So I don't want to call it scam. Um, it's just that they are unprofessional. They are unethical. And this is the result. It sounds and looks like a scam. Um, but I told them I hope they don't do this anymore to other people because I almost want to sue them. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I have a very soft heart and I cannot, I can't sue them. 
it's like I don't want to cause trouble to other people even if they are they made a lot of trouble even if they cost me a lot of trouble but anyway um I'm still happy, I'm still grateful, I'm still thankful that I have a land. I try to look at the bright side, even if I admit I am very, very, very stressed because of all these things. And I'm still working on it. It's still not done yet. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you guys. Ouch. <laughs> um, I also want to take this opportunity to uh, thank you all guys for, you know, supporting me for watching my videos it really helps me a lot and if it's not because of you guys i won't be able to get this beautiful land yeah i just try to look at the bright side i'm still happy that i have this gorgeous land this gorgeous and uh, i'm thinking maybe it's not yet right, the right time for me to have a house <laughs> Maybe there are other things that I need to do before having a house. That's why this is all happening. Everything happens for a reason, I mean. I just need to be patient. That's it. My patience is really being tested here. But anyway, I'm still, like I said, I'm still very grateful for all these blessings that I am receiving. And also, there are so many insects. <laughs> it's so annoying. The insect keeps on doing that in front of me. Um, yeah. I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, yeah, I, I'd like to thank you all guys for all the support that you're showing me, for giving me like the moral support. There are a lot of things that I need to explain because all what I explained is only maybe one third of everything that happened. Uh, maybe I'm just going to do it in a live stream. It will be more spontaneous and I don't need to think deep because right now I'm trying to to think about the things that happened, but I, I it's not processing. My brain is not braining today. Uh, I think it's because of the stress. I was not sleeping well as well. So maybe there will be more problems in the in the future. <laughs> I hope not. But let's stay positive. And guys, uh, remember all the things. Learn from my experience, okay? I know, I know you are not as stupid as me. You are not as naive as me. But just in case, you will have uh, the same experience or go uh, through the same process of... Um, purchasing a land in the Philippines at least you know what to do based on you know my experience I experienced all the bad things that could happen in a land purchase in a um, buying of land in the Philippines so yeah just take the the lessons that you can take from my experience so you don't do the same mistake as me <laughs> Breeze, please. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> when you're sweating and there's a little bit of wind, it feels so good because the sweat makes makes it cold <laughs> for you. Oh, so nice. 